So I actually haven't seen this before. So notice, sometimes you might have to use up two molecules of the catalyst before you regenerate either of the molecules. That's just a pattern that, uh, that might happen here. Oh, that was fun. All right. Um, so what was the, the moral here? Well, notice how at the beginning I tried to do the numbering. And then I said, no, this is too hard. I gave up on it. But then it was even harder to do it without the numbering. Right? So again, uh, you've got to struggle through the hardness of the, the numbering. Even though it is difficult um, uh, to number, you really have to give that a, a really hard shot. And remember, this is a problem that was written by your instructor, so he must have put in some clues. So this really is a big landmark. We can see this ring looks exactly like this ring, and we have to have some faith in the instructor that he's left that as a landmark to us. And then the numbering really easiest things for us. Um, this is number three, number five, number six. Also something I did here is, in the past, I didn't used to number the oxygens. But that was because there was only ever one oxygen. If there's more than one oxygen, it helps to number the oxygens too. So you can keep track of that. Anytime there's more than one of an atom, it helps to number those uh, as well. Uh, and then uh, maybe the most important thing we talked about, I should have explained this to you guys before, in acidic conditions, you cannot produce a negative intermediate or product. And in basic conditions, you cannot produce a positive intermediate or product.